what's going on guys now we've just done our 1000 subscriber giveaway and we do have a winner we pulled it out at random out of a hat and the winner is Sammy so if you could contact me on Twitter at Daniel H 1558 and we will send and send us your details and we will post out your shirt very very soon now we will be doing a few more giveaways in the coming weeks we've got these uh, gloves that are signed by David De Hair that we uh, we'll be giving away. We're also going to give away a brand new shirt for the start of the new Premier League season to celebrate that. Uh, so thanks to everyone for participating in that last uh, giveaway. We'll have some news on the future giveaways in the coming weeks. Now moving along, Manchester United have got Barcelona coming up tomorrow, uh, Saturday. Uh, it is a 9 o'clock uh, UK time kickoff, I believe. And going into this game... Uh, I think it will pretty much be almost the same team as in the previous game, in the previous four, first two 45 minutes. Apart from it looks like David De Gea will come back in goal for this one, which will be great to see David De Gea come back into the team. Uh, he's apparently been uh, so-called injured for the last two matches, which obviously I don't believe. I think it was just a, a bit of rumours, because there's still question marks obviously over whether he stays. But Louis van Gaal said he is staying. He's got to knuckle down and get ready for the coming season. So it will be great to see him back in goal between the sticks. Because although Sam Johnston did do a decent job in the first two, well, the, the game and a half that he played, uh, he's obviously no David De Gea. So it will be great to see him back. In other news, there's obviously Schweinsteiger's apparently taken a minor knock. So it's disappointing he won't be able to play. Which is a bit disappointing because uh, last season he did did get a bit hampered with injuries, so hopefully it's nothing serious and he can uh, get back into the into full fitness ahead of that Tottenham game. Now, uh, Barcelona are obviously going to be a sterner test than these other two. The Earthquakes weren't really much of a test. They are a mid-table, at best, MLS side. And the first half in that game, I did watch the highlights of that and we looked like a lot better in the first half. Uh, obviously, Memphis getting his first goal. So, it was it was great to see that. But I don't think that they're a very good side. Second half, we obviously tailed off because uh, we made so many changes. A lot of uh, other players were given their chance. Obviously, Pereira got a nice goal. Jesse Lingard coming to the team again. James Wilson played as well. Um, from what I've heard, he didn't didn't really get into the game a lot either. But that's just what I've heard. It, it is, it's still a bit of a... Uh, I still think there's a bit of the same from last year where we're not qu quite creating enough chances. I mean, we've got some decent midfielders in now, but I think we need to get some get Memphis down that wing so that he can be crossing some decent balls in, really. But it remains to be seen where Louis van Gaal wants to play him. Obviously, we've twinkled with the um, formation a little bit now. We're not really playing the, the three um, up front. We're sort of playing Rooney up front, sort of a bit further forward um, than Memphis. So it remains to be seen how... A sort of a 4-4-2, but with him sort of dropping a bit back into the number 10 role. So it remains to be seen where Louis van Gaal does want to continue going this season because I thought he was going to play the three uh, forwards up there with Wayne Rooney, the actual striker, with two sort of wingers on either side. But we'll have to, to wait and see uh, what happens in the coming season because obviously there probably will be some more arrivals. Now we will see probably the likes of Luis Suarez, um, Playing in this this game against Manchester United, I believe he, he did score a goal the other day against the uh, LA Galaxy. So he'd be a threat to Manchester United in this game. But it's great to get a sterner test. This will see if we've uh, improved slightly. I know it's only getting our fitness better, but if we can see if Wayne Rooney and Memphis and a few other players, uh, the likes of Michael Carrick maybe, and maybe Schneiderlin and a few others can maybe Phil Jones and maybe Chris Smalling, maybe a few of them. Uh, Luke Shaw can start getting 60 to 70 minutes uh, on the pitch. That would be some great, be really great news for Manchester United because so far they've only played 45 minutes, and I really think that the likes of Luke Shaw really need to get get uh, some real game time under their belts for the new season because uh, last season he was a bit short of fitness there. But overall, I do think that the likes of Luis Suarez, um, it remains to be seen what other players they've got planned. I know Neymar's. I'm not sure what Neymar's. If he's come back from the uh, Copper America, but he would be one to watch out for if he is um, back into pre-season training. I'm not too sure there, but the um, Lionel Messi obviously is is still on holiday uh, following his uh, 
participation in the uh, Copper America Cup Finals, so he obviously won't be playing. But it will show us if we've come, uh, if we've maybe um, clawed the gap a bit between uh, Europeans Elite from last season. I mean, we did play pr uh, pretty well against the top teams in the Barclays Premier League, but it's just a, a nice test just to see. But you can't read too much into this because we did beat Real Madrid last year and uh, I think it was 3-1. So you can't read too much into this. But uh, it looks like we are going to still make a couple more sign-ins as well. So obviously they won't be able to play in these final two pre-season friendlies. But Sergio Romero looks like he's going to come in, the Argentinian goalkeeper, to um, hopefully replace Victor Valdez. So hopefully we, we will be keeping uh, David De Gea now, it looks like. Uh, Louis Van Gaal told him to to stay for the last season. Hopefully, he'll see out his contract. Then I don't mind if he chooses he wants to leave Manchester United and go. He'd have done his uh, contract, the contract that he signed when he first came to Manchester United. So, personally, I've got no. Um, I, I wouldn't be too disheartened if he leaves them because the contract's up. He signed it till then. It's up to him what he does. His choice where he wants to go. But I'll be really happy if he does see out his final year contract. Be massive. I mean, if he helps us win a trophy or something, it will be money well well spent keeping him and not accepting sort of 16, 17 million, which has been torted, which is really pretty pretty low for a goalkeeper of his standard. Now, I've been seeing a lot on Twitter and in a lot of um, journalists uh, saying that, uh, that Sergio Ramos uh, could still be coming to Manchester United. Now, personally, I'm not too sure if this one is going to happen. I think it will be a surprise if it does. And it will be a shock for me if it... If he comes in and David De Gea stays at Manchester United, that will really be a shock. But I've been hearing that the Real Madrid president uh, uh, wants it, wants him to leave or something. Rumours there, but we'll have to wait and see what happens there. I'm not too sure it's going to happen. I know we've been heavily linked with Cristiano Ronaldo as well. I'm pretty much certain that that's not going to happen. That really would be a major shock to me. But we'll have to wait and see. Otamende deal seems to have gone cold, but uh, it seems that Manchester uh, reports are coming out that Manchester United were never interested in him. And then other reports are saying maybe Otamendi and Ramos are going to come in, which I'll be ecstatic about, but uh, that's just never going to happen for me. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please hit the, um, the like button on the video below. Please also subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, we will hopefully get a reaction video up after the game tomorrow because it is an, a 9 o'clock UK time. So that then we will be able to get a review up after the game because the previous games were in the early hours of the morning. So UK time. So that was a bit hard. Anyway, thanks very much for watching and we will talk to you all again very, very soon. See ya.